there's a lot of people who think just because we're young, we're not able to, you know, have a voice or say what happens in our community. But we encourage other people who are, you know, the same age as us or younger to speak, speak up and, you know, because they're part of here too. Feeling better than I ever been. Cairo in his bag, this beat is heaven sin. Back up in my element. I feel like I was one who wasn't really in touch with my community. And like to be a part of like this, especially to talk to like other New Yorkers, you know, cause like with everything being so restricted, you know, quarantine allowed people to like talk from like Manhattan to Queens to Brooklyn to every, everywhere. Like I met people and it was like, it was great. Like it's good to meet people. It was good to have great conversations, especially to advocate for change. Just in general, like it was a great program and something I'm going to remember forever. <laughs> We got started around March of this year, and I was still finishing my senior year of high school. And school at that point was a joke. <laughs> like, you know, waking up to log in on Zoom and then like not engage with it at all. I was basically just trying to stay afloat. It was no longer fun for me at that point. You know, and I'm an artist and I went to a school for the arts and to have to do Zoomsicles and like just try and recreate something that just wasn't happening on Zoom and like over these mobile platforms, it was like, uh, it just, it was a lot. So having the council to help educate me in a different way that's not institutionalized, it was really refreshing and a great outlet to not only foster connections with youth across the city, but to help keep me engaged and just busy, productive, you know, doing something that is really helpful for the community to one, have the youth involved in something, you know, that's not school. I feel like for me and like different other young people, we have difficult of finding what we want to do, what we like to explore. And being able to join YLC, you're able to work with other people that relate to you, other communities, you're able to build relationships. I feel like it's a way for us to all come together to speak up on these issues. They teach you a lot about the community that you may not really know about if you're looking at it from an outside perspective. I would really recommend this program to other people. Sometimes school programs aren't that good, and sometimes a lot of outreach programs aren't as well established. Being in YLC has given me more opportunities. And so um, being part of the council and like once summer came and then the fall, we could do more in-person things. It, it, it really helped to give me a sense of purpose. Um, and so I'll be extremely grateful to all of you guys for always being so warm and so kind and making the council a fun place to be and like just somewhere where I was like, okay, what are we about to do today? What is it gonna be today? And it was just, it's always something new. Um, the workshops that you guys have had us um, participate in are absolutely fantastic. Um, mobile print power was awesome. So I am here, I'm a member of Mobile Print Power. I've been a member since about 2016. And we've been doing this collaboration with the Youth Leadership Council for like the past like two, three weeks. And today is like the final outcome where we are printing together in person all of the images that we've been like brainstorming and talking about the past two weeks. The thing that I saw today that I thought was really great was like just people's reactions when they saw their prints. Because it's like, you know, you kind of guide them through the process, but ultimately they're the ones that are doing it for themselves. And so then when they see the print on the piece of paper or on their shirt or whatever, like people were laughing, yelling, like they were so excited. And I think that that's, that's like the best part of it really. There's a purpose for art. Like there's a reason that like for millions of years humans have consistently just made art and it's because that like it just feels good it's like it feels good to like share images and messages that you think is important that like are close to your heart or that's just like fun what was really important was to make sure that their input is what the program was so they 100 percent tailored the program to their needs like their interests so again you saw 
with a lot of the workshops that we did, these are all workshops that were decided by the Youth Council and they were for the Youth Council. This is a project that is representing 17 developments citywide. So we have young people between the ages of 16 and 21. They've been with us in the YLC Council for nine months. It really feels great to be able to make true connections with young people and I'm really excited to see all the change that we're going to do in the future. We can't just talk about and around young people, we have to talk to them. We love to say that young people are the future and we love to talk about what they need to do and what they should do, but those conversations should really happen with them and with them driving the conversation about what they need and how we can show up for them. So this is our effort as the city and as the Mayor's Office of Criminal Justice to really put resources into positioning young people as the leaders in their community that we know they are. Like I have an idea in my head and it's just like, if I don't at least do a little bit of my part just to like say I tried to like, you know, make my community a better place, make it safer for other people, make it feel more so like almost like a family without actually being blood related. Cause I just want to see everybody succeed. I want to see my community thrive. Don't be afraid to use your voice. Nobody can silence you but you.